Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time, and it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. But first, you have to join and have access to the Z-Code VIP Club section, where you'll have all these great tools to help you make your picks. So, we're going to make some predictions and picks for the games March 28th in the NBA. It's a fairly light schedule with only four games, but there's a couple good ones on here to take a look at. So we're going to get started, and we're going to scroll down and take a look at the first game here. The Phoenix Suns and the Charlotte Hornets. The Suns enter with the second best record in the Western Conference and face the Hornets, who are fourth in the Eastern Conference. You see that the Hornets are burning hot at the moment, winners of their last two. The Phoenix Suns are average at the moment they lost their last game, but they have won four out of their last six. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you see that Phoenix has been steady over the last couple of days. They are at plus 26, and Charlotte has also been steady at plus 14. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that back on February the 24th, the Hornets upset the Suns. They were a big underdog, but they won on the road by a 124 to 121 score. Take a look at the totals predictor. If you want to consider the over and under, you can see right here that Phoenix is slightly under the line, and here's Charlotte way under the line. I would expect a lower scoring game. I would bet the under in this one. You want to see how consistent the teams have been according to their favorite underdog status. You can see here that both teams are moderately stable, not hugely stable, but moderately stable, both in the positives at plus three and plus four. What I think is going to happen in this one is I think that the Suns will even the score, and they will be the ones this time winning on the road. Now take note that the uh, the lines are not yet posted. They should be posted by either Friday or Saturday, so take a look at those when you make your bets. Portland at Toronto. Boy, how far the Raptors have fallen just over the last couple of years. They are now uh, 11th in the Eastern Conference, and they are at home against Portland, who is 6th in the Western Conference. You see Portland right now is averaged down, losers of their last two. And winners of three out of their last six. Toronto dead up. They had lost their last five before winning by 24 against Denver. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here Toronto all the way near the bottom in the league at plus two. And Portland, after up at plus 21 for a few days, dropped to plus 19. Look at the head to head matchup. You can see back on January the 11th. Portland won just by a single point as a home favorite. Considering the over and under, which you always like to do, look at this. We see Portland, and then we see Toronto. So they're very close to the line. You might want to bet the over. I would not bet the under. I would either bet the over, or if you want to play it safe, you can just avoid uh, that bet altogether. How consistent have the two teams been according to their favorite underdog status? You can see that Portland is at plus 7. They were up as high as plus 10, so they have not been as consistent lately. And Toronto was at plus 6, and they are down to plus 4. So both teams are losing a little bit of their stability over the last few days. I would look for Portland to come away with the win. Toronto is just a mess right now as a team. They're not playing well at all, and I would expect Portland to win the game. Atlanta and Denver. Atlanta is currently 7th position in the Eastern Conference and face the Nuggets, who are 5th in the Western Conference. Now, if you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that Atlanta actually won the first meeting between the teams this year by 8 points as a home underdog back on February the 21st. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here that Denver is at plus 23, Atlanta is at plus 24. Atlanta has been on the climb, and they just dropped recently by a few points over the last couple of days. You're considering the over and under on this one. See here, slightly under the line for Atlanta, minus two. And Denver is also under the line, so I would expect a lower scoring game, and I would bet the under. How stable have the two teams been? You can see here, as far as stability goes, very stable for both teams, plus 11 and plus 12, meaning they're consistently playing according to their favorite underdog status. So that's important to note. I would expect that Denver would be the home favorite, and therefore I picked them to come away with the win. 
Orlando Magic and the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers are fourth in the Western Conference, but now they are without LeBron James as well as Anthony Davis. You can see that they have lost their last three, so they have not been playing well at all lately. Orlando is next to last in the Eastern Conference. They are ice cold up, and they won their last game, and they have lost four out of their last six. You look at the head-to-head -head matchup. The two teams have not yet met up this season. The power ranking indicator shows here that the Lakers, although they have dropped considerably since March 20th from 28 to 22, they have been stable over the last few days at plus 22. And uh, we should have taken a look at Orlando. And Orlando here is near the bottom. They have increased from plus 1 to plus 4 for the last day with that victory. You're considering the over and under. You can see here is Orlando. And down here we see Los Angeles. Los Angeles. I would expect the Lakers to have to rely on their defense more without their top stars in the game. Therefore, I, I think the game will be lower scoring. And I would pick the under. How stable have the two teams been? Here's a big thing. Look at this. The teams have been extremely stable at plus 20. Both teams are playing very consistently according to their favorite underdog status. So there's a good indication as to what to do in this one. Orlando definitely will be a, a road underdog, even though the Lakers are without their top players. Los Angeles is still an extremely much better team than Orlando. I would expect the Lakers to win this one and rather easily. Again, there, the lines have not yet been posted, but even when they do, no matter what the line is, I would pick the Lakers and the over. I mean, not the over, excuse me, the Lakers, they will win by over the line. You know, they will cover the spread. I would think that the game, though, as far as the, the uh, over under to go under, because like I, again, I said before, this will be a defensive battle. The Lakers have one of the best defensive teams in the NBA. And if you look down, that is it. A very light schedule for Sunday, March 28th, but the playoff push is beginning, so the games are going to start getting more exciting. So there you have it. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.